Okay, so we're going to talk about solving um, Simon's model, and we'll think about difference equations um, in general. So this is uh, so this is what we established in class, right? So nk, the ratio of nk to nk minus one. So this is the distribution, right? The number of um, objects that appear of size k. So it could be groups of size k, it could be cities of size k, words that appear k times, whatever we want, <coughs> um, and so the, this blob here has the innovation rate rho inside it, so it's between 0 and 1, and then k's, all right? So this is some ratio that gets changed as a function of k. So this, the way to do any of these things is to start writing it out um, in terms of nk minus 2, nk minus 3, uh, all the way down to n1. And so the first step, we're just replacing, this is nk, right, this, this ratio here, and this would be multiplying nk minus 1. So we'll replace nk minus 1, right, this piece is going to go here, by whatever that is in terms of nk minus 2. So every k gets replaced by k minus 1, so this becomes k minus 2 here, there's 1 minus rho, 1 plus 1 minus rho times k minus 1. Alright, so then we'd replace this guy with what it is in terms of um, k minus 3, so we're going to have k minus 3, 1 minus rho, 1 plus 1 minus rho, and then this is k minus 2. And that's going to be nk minus 3. All right, and we replace this guy all the way down. Eventually, we're going to have all of these terms going down to something times n1. And this can be tricky to think about. Actually, it's quite nice to think about what this should be. So we know it's going to have this form 1 minus rho, and there'll be a 1 plus 1 minus rho times something. I'll put an apple here and a little star here. Okay, times this. So you have to think about what they would be. A nice way to see this is look at this k minus 3 here, k minus 2, k minus 3. You might see the pattern. All right, but the next thing to see is we have... Um, the factors across the top, k minus 1, k minus 2, k minus 3. So there's a clearly a factorial starting on top. Uh, 1 minus rho, 1 minus rho, so that's going to be a simple power of 1 minus rho. You have to figure out how many times. Uh, and on the bottom we have a slightly different thing. We have 1 plus a fraction times k, 1 plus another fraction times k. So that's a bit tricky to deal with. Um, and what we will do is use the gamma function. So first of all, gamma function, great thing. Uh, first of all, we have this, lots of things to say about it, but here's the crucial piece that we want to use. Okay. That this recursion relation for the gamma function is built in. So if x equals um, n plus 1, integer, positive integer, then we have um, gamma of n plus 1 equals gamma of n times, uh, gamma times n. I'll put it on the other way. <clears throat> too much talking, n, gamma of n, and then this keeps going down all the way to, and we'll say it's n factorial, and you can figure out that gamma of 1 is equal to 1. Okay. So it is the generalization of the factorial, and it's very useful in a lot of different ways. Really a beautiful thing. So if you have something like this, this is 1 plus, let's call it a fraction, 1 plus, um, let's call it uh, zk, right? So... 0 small and z small and 1, just for fun. Could be any fraction, doesn't really matter, but that's the case here. Then we have 1 plus uh, z k minus 1, and that keeps going. Let's say it goes down to, I'm not saying it does, but let's say it goes down to 1 plus z, right? This could be 2z, depends on what's going on. So, this is an example, how we treat this thing. So we know what to do with factorials, right? So if we have k minus 1, k minus 2, k minus 3, we're good with that. Right. But if it's diff so they're differing by an integer, and they're all integers as well. These are uh, not quite differing by an integer, right? There's a k there, k minus 1, but they're differing by a 1 minus rho, is really what's happening. And so these guys, the difference between this one and this one is, is a z, or a z, as some people of crazy dispositions might want to say. So this is there are k terms here, right? This is times a 1. So you imagine there's a 1 da, 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 up to k, so there are k terms. So let's pull a z out of the whole thing. That's the thing to do. 
and we have one we have one over z. Right? Always put a line through your z so you don't get your twos messed up. Well done, Europe. Well done. Give you that. K minus one. Dot, 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 dot. One over z plus um, one. So now we've got kind of a nice thing, right? These now differ by an integer. Differ by one. Right? Consecutive terms. That allows us to use a gamma function story. And gamma functions will go on forever if, there's, if it's not at an uh, integer, right? This recursion relation just keeps going on. It, get, it will stop when it runs to one here. Um, so the integers are very special. Uh, but this we need to build out of two gamma functions. Right, so what I want you to think about is uh, this looks like this. Um, let's put it down at the bottom. How are we doing? Yeah, equals uh, z to the k. And now on the top we're going to have all of this stuff. So it's 1 over z plus 1 over k. Uh, sorry, plus k. And then that's just going to keep going down. 1 over z plus k minus 1. Dot, dot, dot. All the way down. So imagine this just keeps going. And then we'll divide it on the bottom by, right, the next piece after this would be 1 over z. So we do 1 over z times 1 over z minus 1, 1 over z minus 2. Right, so this is going to go on principle forever. This goes on principle forever. And these things look should look like a gamma function, right? So this is gamma of 1 over z plus k plus 1, because it's 1 more than this. If you look at this, gamma of x, x, gamma of x plus 1. So the first per part of the term is actually, if you have a number here, it's going to be 1 less. So you subtract 1 off of this, that's where we start. Divided by gamma, and you have to take, as I said, plus 1 to this. All right, so you need to think about what's going on up here. This is beautiful stuff. You can always do this. This is building towards a beta function. Because the last piece up here was... Is it k minus 1, k minus 2, all those things. So gamma of uh, k equals k minus 1 factorial. If this indeed goes all the way down to k minus 1, k minus 2, all the way down to 1. So got that guy sitting up the top, got some other good things. A little bit of beta function action appears there. That is exciting. That's a very long hint. Okay. Mm. <clears throat>